potato chips. So because in Pakistan there are a lot of potatoes, so we daily eat a lot of potato chips. So I checked with this program. So in Pakistan basically there are two varieties of potatoes. One variety has higher sugar content, and other variety is very low sugar content. So we mostly mostly use low sugar content variety for potato chips. So main ingredients are potato, 67 percent, and rice bran. So it is very good for frying because it has high smoke point. Almost, uh, I think, to uh, above 60. Sometimes it's uh, like corn, grounded corn or corn grits or corn semolina. Sometimes wheat, even wheat flour. And today, extrusion is used for so many different food products, like even breakfast cereals. Like, like I said, bandages, um, sometimes some uh, useful bacteria and uh, nutrients may be lost. Some nutrients are heat unstable. So when you hit the milk, you produce some nutrients. And also some useful bacteria. Because uh, you know we have uh, bad bacteria and useful bacteria. So when you hit milk, maybe some useful bacteria may be lost. And then also, unlike other milk mm. uh, My project may, you know about them? Like, <laughs> 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 sure <laughs> that. Mineral water. No, that lying down. River. Land down, man. This is not a mineral water. Around, maybe whatever. Measurement of storage, uh, observation of uh, sediments, and particular matter or distillation of water. Seeing it, and um, air, oil written as 100% natural and no preservatives. It's pure and no additives at all. And uh, raw materials is a uh, green banana. Uh, green banana. And uh, major cause of spoilage is uh, moisture absorption, uh, rancidity, breakage, and environmental factors like temperature, oxygen, light, and relative humidity are the major cause. And processing techniques is mostly uh, in um, uh, chips making uh, techniques. There are three major one piping, uh, sun brand, and vacuum uh, brand. There are three techniques, but uh, this company uh, follow uh, vacuum brand technique. Uh, that is the principle of uh, the method is vacuum brand with low temperature. Uh, and uh, major effect of processing is uh, retain taste, color, texture and uh, making more delicious and that is the main effect of processing and uh, moisture reduction is the uh, second part and uh, it has both advantage and uh, disadvantage uh, I listed some and uh, advantage is uh, it is uh, easy and can produce a large mass uh, in um, with uh, large machine and a light, less time consuming method also retain taste, flavor and texture that is consistent, consistency is a major uh, uh, advantage and also energy efficient while we produce in large uh, mass and uh, only one disadvantage is uh, it requires high technology and high technical manpower uh, that is uh, two disadvantage and uh, there are some uh, suggestions uh, for uh, this is uh, need to add some uh, sugar or salt or some spices for the different varieties of this uh, because it is uh, in pure one and uh, also I have uh, one uh, suggestion for the company that is Mason company uh, if we can uh, make a small uh, type of mason uh, it would be uh, benefit for the small farmers or in the rural area. So that make a small machine so that uh, operated in the rural area. Uh, this is my second solution to the uh, machine uh, producer company. And also for uh, this uh, banana company, uh, we can also go for the sun drying techniques for small so that uh, we can uh, use some dome-like structures uh, to produce quality banana, not 
Okay, thank you. Hello, everybody. I will be speaking about the bread with milk paper. Uh, the contamination uh, contains a lot of contamination uh, containing uh, wheat flour, 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 salt, I will read it from here. Salt, sugar, margarine, yeast, milk powder, sweetness, caramel, plain uh, milk, vegetable salt, vegetable fat, all. This is very, very good. Now we have major cause of spoilage. Major cause of spoilage is micro microorganism. All in our uh, city and our uh, home having bread and uh, in Palestine demanding very, very, very much. And uh, the first enemy is microorganism because attacked by yeast, mold, and bacteria, especially for uh, mold, is, there are many types of fungus. And another thing is moisture and temperature. This is moisture and temperature the, the main cause of the, our uh, encouraged the cause of the by mold and hunger. Uh, okay, my product is uh, my product is sheep sauce milk hot. And my neighbor from Nepal, he asked me why you, you have chosen this uh, product and why you buy it. Then uh, I cho I've chosen this because uh, I liked it. I like uh, I like sauce, uh, chili sauce. Also, I was attracted by the, the product. So for me, I will uh, start with the suggestion. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, especially for the marketing. <laughs> As you see, this product. For me, I would like to put a plastic container because you see when you like to eat it, you, it's very difficult. Also, also, I think it's better to put some English information, but not uh, not all in Thailand. We don't know the enemies. The yogurt name is product name is Set Yogurt Natural Flavor. Uh, it's uh, made by Meiji Bulgaria brand. The raw material is milk. Uh, the major cause of spoilage this food first uh, detectable is bacteria. Microbial contamination. The processing technology process is take milk as material, then after the sterilization using bulgaricus or other benefit strains into it to fermentation, then cooling and candy. Principle of the matter: How to inhabit uh, the microbial growth? Firstly, fresh milk must be uh, sterilized. Secondly, fermentation and the canning containers must be sterilized. Thirdly, select good streams. Fourthly, uh, the storing temperature is between two and six. Uh, degrees. Firstly, the shorter the storage time, the better. Is that all? No. I think all of you are going to help me because this is not my film. <laughs> uh, the name of the product is uh, Brook. I think it's the brand of the cane. Uh, the raw material is peach. Also, they have uh, syrupy meat and sugar. Uh, the process technique is ster sterilization, which has been made in container. Uh, the first step is splashing, packing, and filling. Uh, also, it's filled in a uh, in syrup before sealing the, the sterilization. <coughs> the benefits, no, the major effects, it kills microorganisms and enzymes. 
uh, the benefits for long shelf life without refrigerating. Uh, we can look for the process, the product can, we can have in, in any season of the year. This thing can stay for maybe two years. And uh, suggest them, I suggest to add more value in the product, reduce the, the more contained food, because it's not good for the health, compared with the fresh fruits. All of it. Dried mango. This is the product. The main. The material used in this product are mango, sugar, and salt. I was researching about the process because I'm not, I was not sure if they say they wash it, the mango, peeling, cutting, drying, and packaging. I am not sure in what part of the process they add the sugar. Because some say it was before drying, like in syrup, and others say after the drying they add sugar. So I found two types of process. And the cost of polish, I think, will be humidity. Because the physical change in many molds can grow inside. The method of the preventing the solid is heating, and by heating the dry of the fruit. The effect of processing water content reduction, so they can they have a longer preservation. Benefit is a uh, fiber content and it's ready to eat. And I think for the disadvantage is a high sugar content in the product. So my suggestion is to reduce the amount of sugar added in the process. Hi guys. Uh, my so my product was salted peanuts. And the raw materials they were salted were, were peanuts. And the major cause of spoilage is the it's moisture which promotes the growth of microorganisms. And then the processing technique is uh, roasting, which is uh, part of dehydration. And the principles of uh, processing or of dehydration, um, it's, it's the removal of moisture that is a, that is that actually um, promotes microbial and enzyme activity. And also that um, the rich, when you are dehydrating your peanuts, if they shouldn't lose their nutritional value or quality. And the effect of dehydration on quality, it improves the flavor and aroma and also the texture and color. Benefits are improved shelf life, um, improved sensory acceptability, and um, the, prevent the prevention of after after toxin contamination and disadvantages are that uh, some health effect can be lost during roasting and suggestion would be um, addition to the variety of flavors of the Nature and healthy. And we're gonna start with the first one. My important name is Alovia Juice and the Rose. Oh, please. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. My important name is Alovia Juice and the Rose. Sugar, water. 
compote is uh, this uh, product uh, made of uh, full or in, uh, pieces of fruit in sugar syrup. Uh, for diabetics, uh, used to, uh, used to, um, a sugar substitute, uh, for example, uh, stereocyte, uh, sotical, and others. Um, Fenua is a tropical and uh, exotic fruit. Actually, I like to read it all about, I think we end up with the same sort of leaves from home. So this is the company owner. The hair is look like uh, the gone uh, thing. And <laughs> we call it in Thai konek, which is meat corn in English. We import our corn from South Africa because they have a very good quality of corn. You made that up, right? They are here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our company is very happy to have a free snack if you don't ask questions. So if you need to taste it, 7-Eleven will have it. <laughs> <laughs> so the one who's supposed to present it is sick, so I'm happy at this end. Okay, the, the cone, which is a snake, uh, snake, sorry, not a snake. <laughs> <laughs> which is an American corn snack made in Thailand. Here's the raw material, 61% of corn starch, palm oil, 35 sugar, iodized soy, salt, I don't know what the percentage one is missing there. So the major causes of spoilage, I think, is fungus. I was having a trip with a disgusted mother, but please don't ask questions. <laughs> My product is uh, canned tuna fish, and uh, its brand is Select. Uh, they called their production as tuna stick, but uh, I'm not sure if it's stick or not. Uh, it's just tuna fish, uh, usual tuna fish, and uh, it has several uh, ingredients. The main ingredients, of course, uh, tuna fish, and the other ones, water and salt. It's very pure production. Uh, the main uh, problem uh, of this production is microbial growth. Uh, as always, uh, on all of the uh, production of uh, conserved uh, 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 microbial growth, especially uh, Clostridium botulinum, is the uh, common and uh, most dangerous spoilage thing. Uh, what's the process of uh, can? The raw material of the product is plates, uh, which according to the packaging, there is nine percent of plates in the product and on the product. I chose this uh, beverage, it's a, it's a functional beverage uh, called uh, Hello Fiber. It has six grams of fiber per bottle, and the bottle is around 300 ml. So, and it's uh, low sugar. Uh, it has only 90 calories, and um, its main ingredients are basil seeds, which are the little seeds that you can see floating in the liquid. Um, Five percent sugar. One. 1.6% fiber, so they add a little bit more fiber in the in the formulation. It has an acidifying agent. Mm -hmm. I am Gabriela de Nasha, and I am from Argentina. And this is my country report. I will talk about something about my country, some facts, yeah, about general facts about my country, and some things about um, food 
vegetables, some uh, foods from my country. 